And what a great young man this is, even though he does play it left-handed. Oscar is now about a 12 handicapper. Working hard on his golf game, and this is his first appearance in the Classic. It's funny, he seems to have a lot of the same mannerisms, stepping up to a golf ball that he does when he's in the ring as a prize fighter. And that is pretty sweet, just down the right-hand side and gonna be right back in the middle of the fairway. Gotta be happy with that one, Oscar. This is your first classic. I know you were nervous out there, but your home pro, Jay Prestelia, has prepared you well. I think he has. Um, <laughs> he's, he's been the pro out there where I belong in Friendly Hills in Los Angeles. And um, he's given me a few tips and stuff, and I, I felt nervous and scared, but um, hopefully after a few holes, I'll get used to it and, and just, you know, have a good time. Now, you're down here training at the Coachella Valley Boxing Club for the next five weeks. Uh, Lee Espinosa is working with you. Yeah. I will be training here um, for about five weeks, and throughout those five weeks, I'll be visiting schools, I'll go to hospitals, so I'm going to be doing a lot of charity work for the kids here. Well, listen, we really appreciate you being down here and doing all that charity work. The, the kids really appreciate you doing oh, yes, it. yes, thank you. All right, Okay. good luck. The Coachella Valley Boxing Club in Coachella got its start 17 years ago when Lee Espinosa's son wanted to learn how to box. Little did Lee know back then that his son's desire would lead to the founding of the East Valley Boxing Club, which has gained a reputation around the country for turning out some of the best young boxers in the sport. They've just recently moved into their new location at Bagduma Park, which houses a lot more equipment with the help of donors like the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic. And Lee couldn't be more grateful. Well, Bob, Bob uh, uh, the Desert Foundation uh, is, uh, for us, has been like our life because uh, uh, um, thanks to them, uh, uh, the very f uh, first people that started helping us, uh, uh, we used to be by ourselves, uh, nobody to help us. Uh, we do uh, uh, raffles and raffle this, raffle that, and um, uh, thanks to the uh, Palm Desert Foundation that started uh, donating some money and it's, uh, you know, giving us uh, uh, some hope, uh, some life, and we got some more people involved with, uh, with them, through them, because it shows that uh, the Pandas Foundation gave us so much money. Oh, you, we see that you got money from the Pandas, so it means like it's, uh, it's really, uh, uh, how do you say it, uh, uh, really true. The Coachella Valley Boxing Club has turned out a number of Golden Glove champs and top-ranked professional boxers. One of the best-known fighters who still trains at the club is 23-year-old Hoyle Diaz, who first showed up on the club's doorsteps 12 years ago. Diaz is now the IBF Intercontinental Featherweight Champion and says the boxing club is like a home away from home. Well, this, is, uh, this club here has kept me away from trouble, has kept me away from drugs, alcohol, anything that comes up to trouble, kept me away from everything. This is like my second home. This is uh, where I come in and just focus myself into something that it's for my own good and it's for my, for my own health. Kids as young as eight can take advantage of the boxing club's facilities, and that includes getting into the ring. The Coachella Valley Boxing Club is free to all participants and has a goal of enhancing the quality of life for all youth in the Coachella Valley by providing a variety of recreational and character-building activities. And thanks to the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic, it looks like the boxing club will continue to KO the crime in the streets by getting the kids into the ring.